Right, just continuing my blog um, on my um, modifications on my Mini Cooper SR53 and I just thought I'd get around to writing something up about the brakes. Now, when I bought the car, everywhere that I read it said basically how bad the brakes were on them, or bad or poor or whatever. Um, I, I'm driving the car when I first got it, I never didn't actually think the, the brakes were really what I would call sort of like basket case bad. And uh, I read up about you know changing to the R56 conversion on them, um, but whether it's just being stubborn or what, I, I I always thought that to be honest that the standard brakes, if they could just be uprated, I reckon they'd be good enough for the road. Um, I never thought really they were kind of like really really bad. So whether it's just being stubborn, I thought well I'll go down that route and see what I can actually get out of the standard brakes before I change to the R R56 if I needed to, you know, the big brake conversion. Um, and this is just my report on what I did and whether I think it was worth it or not. Um, my thinking was that if you get the R56 brakes, you're going to buy them sort of like second hand and you're probably going to end up putting some quality brake pads in there, probably end up changing the actual discs themselves for some groove rotors and more than likely some braided lines and probably the fluid, all with a big package. Um, but if you were to put them on the standard brakes, what would that be like? Would it be good enough? Would it be a good enough upgrade? Just using the standard rotors um, but with those upgrades and that was the route I decided to go down so what I did basically was fitted some grooved and vented discs some Mintex ones um, some Mintex bracing pads which were quite expensive about 125 pound for the fronts um, some hell braided brake lines and some change the brake fluid to uh, up uprated new dot four and the results were very good I personally think that they're nothing exceptional the brakes but I would say that for road use they're perfectly satisfactory much much stronger feel than what they had before the um, nothing spongy about them and they will pull you up uh, like I say there's nothing absolutely amazing about them but for, for road use, I would say that they're more than adequate. And I've driven a, an R56 Mini, uh, and I didn't actually think that the brakes were any better than, than what my brakes are now. If, if anything, I think these they may have felt even slightly better. Um, the, the Dot4 fluid seemed to make a huge difference, to be honest. Um, the only thing I would say is they may is that the limitations may show up on a racetrack, but well, that's pretty much like that with you know, for most standard like road brake setups, racetrack always seems to show up the uh, limitations. But the next trick I'm going to do is is to remove the front fog lights, and you can buy a brake cooling kit. Um, it's just you get like a vent which fits in where the front fog light is, and then it's some sort of like some ducting which goes in, and that does a pretty good job apparently of actually cooling down the the uh, discs, uh, and that's not a lot of money at all. So I think with what I've done, I feel as if I've, um, yeah, I'm quite happy. I don't feel the need to, to upgrade to the R56 brakes at all. And if anyone's sort of like watching this and wondering what to do, this is only my opinion and I know a lot of people will disagree with me. Um, but I, I think that this setup is, uh, is enough and um, I've got all the stopping power I need now. So there we go. Uh, I've got another blog to put on later. Um, with the up-to-date up upgrades on the engine, but that's my my little five penneth on what I've done to my brakes. I hope it's helpful to anybody.